In this lesson, we're going to look at how to work out the adjacent side uh, using the tan ratio. That's the the adjacent side in the bottom of the fraction, uh, and not the, the unknown being in the top. Sometimes this can cause a wee bit of problems. So uh, let's look how to solve this. So we're using the tangent ratio, so tan's opposite over adjacent. Hopefully you know that by now. Now draw your triangle out and label the sides as always. Okay, so this is the hypotenuse diagonally opposite the right angle. This is the opposite side uh, diagonally opposite the angle 30 here, and this is the adjacent side. So when you come to substitute values into your, your formula here, we can say that a is 30, so tan of 30. Um, is equal to, and the opposite side is 12, and the adjacent side is the unknown, it's the x. So we have this problem here where the unknown is in the bottom. Now what we did before was we multiplied up by the number here, we did tan 30 times 12, or 14, or whatever the value at the bottom was. We can do the same thing here, we can multiply tan 30 by x, um, and that's going to look like this. Okay, so now that we have got all of this on one side, that's really x times tan 30. Um, we don't put the multiplication in, just write it like that. To get x on its own, because x has been multiplied by tan 30, uh, to get x on its own, you really want to divide by tan 30. So we're doing 12 divided by tan 30, and that's the, the idea behind this. Now, a kind of quicker idea of it is, um, if we just look at this wee example here at the bottom, I'll just bring it up here. This is a similar idea, it's a simple version of what we have over here. So, we have 4 equals 8 divided by something. Now, hopefully you're saying 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. But watch what happens if we take the question mark over here and 4 down here. I'll just get rid of that. Then all we did was we swapped the 4 and the question mark around and that gives our answer. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So we can just take the question mark up here and the 4 down there. And we can do the same with this kind of more complicated example. Look what's happened. Really just the x's went up to here and the tan 30's went down to the bottom. That's a quick version of what's happened. This is more mathematical here, multiplying up by the x, and then dividing down by the tan 30, but a quick way is to just swap the two. If you then just type this into your calculator, 12 divided by tan 30, you'll get your answer of 20.8 centimetres.